La radio des airs. La radio des airs. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's a pleasure to meet you all. I hope you all are doing well. Uh, I am Adam Bouhali, and I will be your host for this new episode of our exclusive series. Let the debate continue. Today, uh, we will be discussing a very controversial topic uh, that I think is relevant in our current context. Uh, it's related to migration, uh, migrating from third world countries to search for better opportunities. So in short, it's the people that choose to live in another country in order to pursue uh, some particular career or to pursue a lifestyle, uh, to have more rights, more uh, more opportunities, a better pay, better living conditions. So today are we for or against? Uh, this? The point of this episode is simply giving you all an overview of this topic and uh, engaging the, the thinking process. And in order to do that today, I am accompanied by my very dear friend, Ayab Kush. Ayab Kush, how are you? Hello, Adam. I'm doing fine. Thank you. I just want to say that I'm very delighted to be here today with you and with you, dear listeners. Um, it's a great pleasure for me to be talking about such a relevant and significant topic today, given the fact that I'm a senior. So this is kind of like my everyday life and what I'm going through every day. And this confusion and this sort of jump into the unknown is what we are all going through every day as seniors and I think as juniors too at some point and to some extent. But uh, yeah, I'm very happy to be discussing this topic with you today. Thank you, it's a pleasure for me too. So uh, as you said, you are a senior and uh, this, this is a very important question that you probably thought about more than a few times. Uh, and my question to you, I'm sure you already weighed uh, the pros and cons before engaging in, in, before you will be engaging in such a decision. I don't know what you, what decision you took yet, uh, but pros and cons, what do you think? Um, yeah, I've been definitely thinking about that, given that a lot of thought uh, for the past, I'd say, three years. Um, and it has been a really draining difficult process but you know we're getting there i guess and i want to say one of the pros of migrating abroad in my opinion are just like you said for example when you talked about when you stated the topic you were kind of biased because you were like oh people are looking for better opportunities a better life a better lifestyle so you know i'm not trying to say that everything abroad is better of course, that's not true because not everything is better, but there are multiple opportunities and I'm speaking academic, uh, especially. Um, just there are other universities that are world renowned more than what we have in Morocco because we only have a few here. Um, and that is on the academic side. I don't think there are any cons on the academic side, but from your social life, and everything that is related to you individually. I've always had people tell me that, you know, living abroad, you'll never feel like you belong, and you'll always be a stranger, you'll always be a foreigner. But I know many people who are abroad and who decided, who made the decision to go study abroad, either right after their baccalaureate or a few years after that, and they're having a pretty great life to be honest, and that's what, they, that, that's what they told me, and that's what I know about them, and I can see that. Of course, there are lows and uh, ups and downs, sorry, but, you know, that's just how it is, even better there than it is here. Yeah, as you said, I've been kind of biased when uh, stating the subject, and it's for a reason. Uh, I think this idea I stated is generally uh, the the opinion ingrained in uh, in the the imagination of, of our society, but uh, and I'm coming back to it uh, when when we're we're speaking cons today and especially from today onward, is it worth uh, migrating, especially to the West? 
because I think if we if we try to to observe the political scene a little bit and the societal scene and everything that's going on right now, we can kind of see that the the, uh, the tendency is going more to a kind of a right wing movement of racism and uh, and uh, anti migration uh, ideologies uh, and a lot of hate uh, is being is being propagated in in uh, in the west lately uh, i think uh, after a period where there was a rise of uh, of uh, acceptance and love in these communities a new movement is starting to to uh, take more uh, take more place uh, in the in the society and people are starting to engage in in more hate uh, step by step and i'm sure in the future it's going to to look bad for for uh, people who migrate what do you think about this well that's true i mean just as you said there are multiple waves of you know racism and hate and uh, Islamophobia and everything you want phobia that's for sure and I don't think that's ever going to change because that's how humans work that's how humans function and I think that we have a much greater power than we think we do in Africa and in Morocco especially so if we had I'm not blaming anyone I'm not blaming the government or anything because I don't I usually don't like people who do that Oh, it's the government fault, blah, 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 blah. I'm not that kind of people. But I think if we had better opportunities that are, by the way, starting to emerge right now, if we did, then maybe we could be talking about less migration, more um, being a better citizen of your own country and being, you know, dedicated to it and to its growth in general. Of course, as you said, and uh, this is a very important point, uh, that I want to to develop a little bit more with you. Uh, as you said, we don't want to to emit judgment on the, on the behaviors of people. But although everyone has the right to choose their own paths and how they want to live their life, I think sacrificing these better opportunities and staying in your home co country or in your continent and working. Uh, maybe even harder, in order to create more opportunities in this certain field for other people. This is the, the kind of decision-making we need in order to, to kind of have a revolution in, in our continent, especially here in Africa. If a lot of highly competent, uh, intelligent people decide on a, on a wave of, of patriotism and love for their nation to stay and fight uh, and create the opportunities they were not given. Maybe they wouldn't achieve what they would have achieved in their respective, in their uh, migration countries, mm -hmm. but they will create the basis for the upcoming generations. And the upcoming gener generations are the ones who will kind of uh, revolutionize all sectors in in uh, in our continent. And I think maybe. Maybe in prior generations, I can understand this decision, but today, I think it's looking quite good and it needs these capabilities, it's, it needs the, these brains. And if we, if we can change the, the way and uh, if we can somehow convince more people to stay and fight, even for lesser, but for something greater uh, in the future, mm -hmm the world and our continent would be a whole lot different. Well, yeah, I, I do, I completely agree. And uh, I, just as much as I agree with you, I think that, that we need to find more people like you in Morocco. I completely agree with that. But you said something about having to fight for your own country and for uh, its growth and its thriving and I I do agree with that but you have to know that once you start fighting for your own country it's a fight for which the end you will never know about so you'll never know if you're of course in a fight there's gonna be a winner and there's gonna be a loser there's no in between and you're never gonna know if you're winning or if you're losing and of course you're taking 
that risk because you want what's best for your country. And I, that's very respectable. But I think academically speaking, whatever, speaking of whatever is, you know, that is, you know, speaking of academic guidance, um, I feel like it would be a better alternative, as you said in the beginning, to yes, have the best guidance for like as an undergraduate or academic guidance. academic guidance as an undergraduate or as a graduate student mm -hmm. and then come back to your own country and exert that um, critical thinking and um, those skills and those competencies that you so heavily fought for abroad for your own country and that's where you see the beauty of all of it and at the same time I, I'm very reluctant about it because I'm going to give an example of the World Cup and the Moroccan team, uh, the Moroccan team and its players, and the fact that most of them are not, uh, you know, have not been taught here and have not are not like 100% Moroccan, have not stayed here for the entire course of their life, and they have showed great uh, performances up there and we're very proud of that. I think we're still not over their performance, but it's kind of sad and at the same time frightening how much, actually now that I really think about it, it's not, it's not that sad. It's actually a good thing and it's a pride that people, that those players, those team players are so well built and so well taught in the football field and still they they come back to where they have been born and to where they emerge and when it where it originally started i think that's a beautiful thing and i, I think that's what we as moroccan teenagers ought to do for our country yeah not not necessarily born but at least they have that sense of belonging to, yeah. to their to their home countries and, uh, it's in their blood. Yes, and uh, in uh, and uh, after all, it in my opinion, it co it all comes down to how you want to accomplish yourself as an individual. Uh, because if if you choose to accomplish yourself simply in your individuality by going abroad and becoming a, su a successful person and I get it, it's, it's completely understandable and it's just your way of, uh, of uh, having that feeling of accomplishment mm. uh, and it's completely human, completely natural but if you believe that you are someone who would only accomplish themselves if they, they contribute to something great I think you can contribute to something great abroad, but yeah. they, that they, they want to contribute to something great in their community, to ameliorate the, the, the ways of living of their people, to uh, create more opportunities for the, the upcoming generations of their nations that really need it. Because other, the West doesn't necessarily need you to yeah. create more opportunities. They may need your competences in order to fill uh, the places where they need these kind of uh, thinking skills and uh, maybe even manual skills or physical skills but the opportunities are there they built it for their people and you can always sense that they have the privilege mm. you exactly. need to, to work tenfold what what uh, someone what a native works in order to have the same recognition so how do you want to accomplish yourself do you want to accomplish yourself in the, the greatness of your community or simply in the uh, in the individual achievements? I feel like on an, indi on an individual level, uh, and as I've been trying to do my whole high school life and journey, by, jo by joining the Tedent Club and being its you know, advisor and everything for now, being its advisor, I've always wanted to have an impact on the world and on my community. And starting with my community, of course. But does that mean that I want to stay here or that I want to go abroad? I have a lot of options. Most of them are here and a lot of them are abroad. I'm going to say that. But what am I going to be choosing? 
I don't think I should be asking me today. It's something that I want to choose in the future once I set all of my options down. And in the grand scheme of things, as I said, I want to have an impact and I want to have start starting with my community and slowly but surely trying to have a larger and broader impact on people and have a lot of net through a lot of network opportunities and uh, I don't want to say try to make the world a better place because that's too you know cliche but at least try to make my own community a better place for me for my children for my family for my surroundings for people I care about and also for people I don't really know for people I don't care about but at the same time I do because I would like for them to live a life just as happy as I did, just as fulfilled as I did. Um, thank you so much, Aya Bakush. I, I think this is a very noble perception. Uh, for our dear uh, audience, uh, this was simply the point of views of two high schoolers who were trying to engage a constructive discussion on a, on a very interesting topic. This is probably not the truth, or even far from the truth, but uh, it's surely our truth, and it's not uh, something that's unchangeable. Of course, we will be having different life experiences, we will be having different encounters that could change all of this. But for now, this is what we came up with. The whole point of, uh, of this episode was to kind of engage the critical thinking on something deeply impactful in every individual's life. Uh, I hope uh, that this has pushed you a little bit to engage into this, this conversation. Engage in this conversation with your friends, with your surroundings, with your, with your parents, maybe. Uh, and always keep in mind that the truth never lies in, in the extremes or never lies in, in one point of view or the other. It's always somewhere in between and you need to, to search for balance and search for this for your particular balance and defend your ideas, develop your thinking. Um, and I hope all of this happens. Ayabrakush, what do you think? And hopefully by the end of your high school journey, you're going to make the best decision, not only for you, but for your community and for your country. Yes, hopefully. Thank you so much and see you next week. La Radio, La Radio, Radio. Radio.